Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the same outfit and makeup as another video I filmed, but we're pre-filming today. So, as you can hear, I'm still sick. It's not fun. It sounds horrible. I'm nasally. It's fine. So, we are going to dive into my home fragrance empties today. I have a lot. I have been burning candles, melting wax like crazy during the summer to fall transition, so I have a lot to show you today, and I'm really excited because I have some really, really good ones in here, and then some really, really not so good ones in here. So, if you guys are interested in home fragrance empties, just keep on watching. This first wax melt is by the company Zany Lini, who is a kind of like an Etsy sort of like Facebook selling wax vendor. This one is a wax, like a tart kind of thing in the scent, never eat pears. And it was a very like almost minty scent. I don't know. The, I don't know the notes on this exactly. I can only kind of tell you what I smell. And honestly, right now my nose isn't exactly the most trustworthy part of my body. I don't remember what kind of wax she used, but I wasn't a fan of the wax formula. Um, it tended to be really almost grainy. They just kind of didn't smell anymore. This maybe lasted a few hours in my house, this scent per se. Um, so I mean, I wouldn't repurchase them. Not that I can, she doesn't make them anyway, but I wouldn't repurchase this particular scent if I could. This next one is a candle and this is by Bath and Body Works. It's one of their little like smaller jar candles. And this one was in the scent Bourbon Sea Salt Caramel. This smelled really good, um, but it wasn't like the best strength or throw. Some of these little guys can just pump out throw and my whole upper, like upper stairs, my whole upstairs will smell like it, but this one really kind of stuck right around it. It didn't have a good throw to it. It didn't burn very well either. Um, the pool wasn't that great and it left a lot of residue on the side. So again, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I do like Bath and Body Works candles. The next Bath and Body Works candle, there's a lot of them in here, so get ready. Um, this was in the scent Georgia Peach. This one smelled really good, but it wasn't like a traditional, like, authentic peach. It was very like candy, those little peach O's. That's what it smelled like. It smells like little peach O gummy candies, which some people love. I just, I'm not a fan of like false food scents. I like really authentic food scents. So the notes in here are juicy peaches, dew covered leaves, and hint of vanilla. This one burned pretty well. I didn't have any issues with, um, you know, wax hanging out on the edges. It pooled nicely. I had no complaints about the burn of this. I just didn't really like the, the uh, scent of it. I almost said the flavor. Yeah, I'm over here licking my candles. This I loved. In fact, I bought a backup of this before um, the fall started because I didn't know if they were going to bring it back next year. This is by the brand Sensationals, which is a Walmart wax brand. These are $2, you guys, and you get quite a bit of wax. These have an incredible strength and throw. I mean, beautiful. I only use one cube usually, and it'll fill my entire upstairs with my Scentsy warmer. This one was in the scent Tropical Fiesta, which is like passion fruit and guava. It smells like a popsicle. It's so yummy. Um, so I really, really liked that, and they burn or melt beautifully. These don't leave residue or anything like that. They're very nice melted, and they last last probably a good three to four days and I run my Scentsy warmer 24 7. I have another Zany Laney wax clamshell over here. This was in the scent Destiny which was peach margaritas and rain. I hate talking negatively about people who you know do their businesses from home by hand because I, I love supporting small businesses and I love a lot of her scents but this one was just a no for me. It, it didn't have any strength, any throw. In fact, when I put this in the warmer, I didn't smell it at all, at all. I used two full cubes of it at a time. I stood right next to it. I still couldn't smell anything. So I don't know if this was just an older pour. It, it, this did nothing at all. This one is by Scentsy and this was in the scent Bergamot Bay. This one I liked in the summer for a while but I kind of got sick of the scent which happens with me a lot. When it's a non-food scent, I get very sick of like fresh and clean scents. And plus my tastes as far as home fragrance has changed a lot in the past year. It smells very strongly of bergamot. Um, it was very fresh and clean, like fresh air kind of scent. I liked it and it's a great fresh scent if you like that kind of thing. I just don't prefer it anymore. I don't even think you can get this anymore so I'm kind of blowing smoke because I had one of these Bath and Body Works in the like the little mason jar candles or whatever. This one is in the scent Smoked Honey Woods. Golden Raw Honey Cedarwood and Autumn Wildflowers. You know that's actually pretty accurate. It's a woody kind of like marshmallow campfire scent, but you can smell the raw honey. And if you know what I'm talking about, if you've ever actually smelled a raw honeycomb, it has almost a musky scent to it. This has it. This actually smelled really good and it threw quite a bit out of this little kind of like candle. It burned really, really well too. This one was in the scent Pearberry. I don't mind the scent. This actually reminds me so much of something from my childhood, like a preteen when I was getting into makeup and like perfumes. This reminds me of something. Anjou pears and wild berries and musk. 
it was okay. It didn't have much of a thrill. It really wasn't that strong, so it's not something I would ever think about repurchasing, but if you're into that kind of scent. This one was White Sand Beaches. Um, the notes in here are coastal tiary flowers, sun-kissed driftwood, and bergamot leaves. Again, not much strength, not much throw. It was okay. It was a nice kind of like beachy, summery scent. This was in the scent Pomelo Citron, and honestly, again, there's like no scent throw. And some of these are really good, but it's really hit or miss. These guys just don't have much of a throw. So if anything, put these in like a bathroom or something that's small. Don't try to burn them in the upstairs of like your home or anything like that. But I mean, the scent of this was really pretty. It was like an orange kind of orchard, uh, orangey floral scent to it. And it was nice, but it just didn't throw whatsoever. Um, I do have a couple, I think there's only two, there might be more, um, little wallflowers here. This one is in the scent Mango Mai Tai. It's okay. It didn't have a great throw to it. Um, it's really fruity. I used it in my entryway at the end of summer and it was all right. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, and then I also had Rainforest Gardenia. This is very, very strong and very true to Gardenia. So if you're not into white florals, this wouldn't be for you. But if you like floral scents, this is a really good wallflower. It throws really well. Oh, I love it. This is in the scent Cactus Blossom, and the notes in here are cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, and lemon. Now, a lot of lemon scents and candles tend to be like the pledge lemon, like floor cleaner, cleaning spray. This is not. This is beautiful. I don't get a lot of lemon in this, maybe a hint. I definitely get the cactus flower. It's fruity and beautiful. It's bright. It's not overwhelming. It's not sickly sweet. It's very, very like light and fresh, but the throw and strength of this candle was beautiful. I love the packaging of this candle. I think this was such beautiful, beautiful packaging and the lids were gorgeous too. Very like, um, what do you call it? Like grass mat, grass rug, like on the deck in the summertime. That's kind of what it reminded me of. This was in the scent Coconut Sandalwood. And although I love the packaging, I did not like the scent. I've come to the conclusion that I'm not a fan of the sandalwood anymore. I used to love it. And now it's too like, it's too sharp for me. It just, it hits me in the wrong way, I guess. I'm just not a huge fan of it anymore. Um, but the notes in this one were coconut palm, sandalwood, warm musk, and jasmine. And I just, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, it definitely had great performance though. So that wasn't the issue at all. It was just my personal scent preferences. It came from the Bath and Body Works test lab. So this is an odd scent. It's not a scent that I think most people will love, which is probably why it never made it past the tester phase. I adore this candle, like adore it, especially in my home. Long story short, the notes in this, <laughs> oh, duh, I can tell you what it's called, the Garden Arugula and Verbena. Basically the notes in here are pretty much exactly what I just read off. It's a very green plant scent. Now, when this burned, it threw all over my upstairs. It was fantastic. In fact, I only had to burn this for a couple hours of time and the burn was really, really clean, very nice, very even. The wax pool was perfect. The flames were perfect. Everything on this candle was phenomenal. Now I will say, most people that smelled it in the home didn't like it. I have this love of fresh greens, meaning the plants that my food was grown from, and I love the way it smells. This smells exactly like if you take like a tomato plant and you rough up the leaves a little bit and you get that green, fresh plant scent, that's what this smells like. There's no fruitiness, there is no sweetness. It's literally like I just finished chopping up a bunch of salad greens in my kitchen, which sounds so unappealing, but in somebody's lifestyle where they were farmers and they lived off the land like we did, this hits home so much. I love it, love it, love it. I did end up purchasing a couple backups when they had them on clearance and it's depressing because this is one of my favorite summer scents. I like it, you guys might not love it. I don't know, I loved it. I found another wallflower in here. This one was in the scent at the beach. And the notes in here were white frangipani, toasted coconut, and saltwater breeze. This was okay. I, I used it in the uh, wallflower warmer, whatever, in the early summer. It was okay. I, I'm just not somebody that likes that beachy, salty air kind of scent anymore. It's just not, not my jam. But for now, I'm going to call that done. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, home fragrance empties. I will be doing another one of these probably after Halloween when I can burn through a lot of my fall stuff and give you um, reviews on those as well. I'm also going to be starting to do candle reviews per your requests with a lot of my homeworks candles um, and things like that as far as performance scents, um, you know, the ones that are currently available, things like that. So if you support that idea as well, pop me a thumbs up and let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.